Hey guys, I'm TLC and welcome to my new segment called Kinky Gaming, where Big Daddy Gamer and I answer a few of your questions about relationships, sex and kink. If you have more questions, just send them in and uh, give me a thumbs up. All the links are in the description below. Enjoy! Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, people often say that when you're gay or bi, you have an obligation to come out to dismantle stigmas. Is there an obligation to be out about kinks? Okay, you go first this time. I feel like I've been talking too much. Um, no, I would say no. You don't have to. Just like you don't have to come out if you're if you're gay or bi. Well, I can see more sense in coming out when you're gay or bi compared to kings. I like, agree with that. I mean, if you're... If you're gay or bi, being out or not will affect your relationship because it's about the person you're actually dating that will be part of your life. And many families and friends will have at least some kind of temper tantrum or at least need some time to adjust when gay people come out and you don't want that to happen when you're just starting a relationship. Uh, because you don't want your partner to suffer that backlash. Um, but what you do with the person you're dating is between you and them. And there's no obligation to tell anyone you don't want to, I guess. Like, will it help kink, re kink, sorry, kink representation if you tell people? Yeah, of, of course. Um, and I think it's awesome when people do talk about it because everyone has some sort of non-normative interest and knowing that other people feel the same way can prevent other people from feeling like outcasts. But I don't think there's an obligation. I also hate crimes generally are associated with sexual orientation, not kinks, which makes representation and fighting against stigmas more important, in my opinion. Um, I, I guess, you know what? I guess it can depend on the kink. Like, for example, okay, this is going to be a more personal bit, um, so stop me if you feel I'm. I'm. like I'm derailing or something. But for example, I'm into bigger guys. I'm also into like tall and muscular guys, and that's normally fine with people because it's not considered weird. But I'm also into chubby or fat guys, so that's what people consider weird. And there's a stigma attached to that, and it will clash with people in my friend circle or family, um, even if they don't intend anything bad about it. Like I've, I've, for example, I've had issues with my mom. My mom's an awesome mom, a very temperamental, like, Argentinian mom, but she's a good mom, she, she means well. And I've dated big guys in the past, and she, like, very well intended, once told me, well, why do you always settle for big guys? You're so pretty, she tells me. And, and that's like the whole societal stigma for big people coming out in her, and she, inter she interpreted me dating big guys as something that it wasn't, that I'm settling, you know? So I actually said, I, I had to set her down and I, I talked to her about it once, not in the kink part, but in the just relationship part. And I told her I'm not dating big guys because I'm settling. I'm dating big guys because I'm actually going after what I truly want and that's empowering and that's the opposite. Like if I would date a skinny guy just because society tells me to, that's settling, you know. Uh, if if you want to go by the, the the whole shallow thing, I don't believe any of that is settling because if like if I fall in love with someone, I don't fucking care about what they look like. So I just knew I had to tell her that so that because if she keeps thinking a guy I'm dating isn't good enough for me just because he's he's big, then he's gonna suffer from that, and I don't want the person who's gonna be my boyfriend to have to deal with that. So I, I just told her, and. And I mean, it was really cute. Like now she calls them, she calls big guys ositos, which is Spanish for bears. And that's adorable. And like she even is going to tell me, oh, look, he's, he's a cute bear or stuff like that when she wants to like set me up with someone or just tell me about some cute guys. So she understands oh, it. She cool. gets it. It's totally cool. Yeah. She once told me like months after we had the conversation that, well, considering she's Argentinian, she's curvy or she's, she's a little bit bigger. And she told me that 
me telling her and telling her that I find a bigger guy just as attractive. Like I get just as like fluttered and and like not starstruck, but like crushed on big guys as other people would like I don't know swoon over some Brad Pitt kind of guy. And she said that me telling her that like there are people out there who are into everything and anything made her feel better about herself when it comes to that. And that was awesome. I would never have thought she would say that, and she wouldn't have if I hadn't told her. So I guess if you if you have a kink when you date, like for example older people, I guess it would be the same thing, or like a lot shorter people. I don't know. Whatever influences who you are actually dating, then you should at least like be open about that's actually what you want, and that you don't care what other people think you should want. But if it's something that you and do in the bedroom with them, you you don't have to tell anyone. That's between you and them. Right, right. Okay, um, I wasn't going to answer this, uh, but I'm going to. Um, and it's, do you ever judge TLC for her kinks? Okay. And 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 also, what do you think about her? Okay, first part of the question is honestly yes. The beginning. When you first told me about it, I did. I was, I judged it, and the reasoning behind me judging it is, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it. It was the first time I've heard of it. Um, mm-hmm. It was, um, well, it was surprising. You know, I didn't, like, I had uh, known you for a while then, and I didn't, I didn't, uh, I just didn't know anything about it. I guess, yeah. and. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I did. I'm I'm guilty of judging um, her for that, but like, how did you how did you judge me though? Well, I mean, I would little yeah. Why would uh, you know you're a, you're attractive, uh, smaller smaller build uh, uh, woman, and you know you'd be attractive to these to these uh, uh, bigger guys, and to me to me. At the time, you had like I the did, same I, reaction my mom had. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I didn't understand it. And then you, I think it was through, I think it was Steam. We we were chatting through Steam, and you sent me the links to uh, the websites and some of your Reddit posts. And then I understood it. And then I started to understand, you know, what it was. And from that point on, I do not judge anybody for any, uh, well, for that kink at all and for any kink so um hey so i i made you more open to other kinks that's not you did like that's a huge compliment thank you that's like for real like for real you did thank you for opening my eyes (laughs) because you know i mean before you i had no i had no idea that this like this world you know was even out there and then you know to see it all i mean it's it's kind of it's kind of um, relieving, you know, to know that, you know, there's people out there for other people. There's people that, mm-hmm. like, society in general doesn't think are attractive. You know, like a bigger guy in society, people don't think are attractive people. And it's nice to know that there are women out there that legitimately think that those are attractive people. And that's that's awesome. That is very awesome, yeah. And then the next part of the question is, what do I think about her? Um, I think you all know that that Tinder is a, a, an amazing person and an awesome, awesome person to be around. And I'm really happy that you know I get to talk to her almost every day, um, sometimes every day and multiple times a day. We get to hang out, uh, play cool games together, and you know I'm I'm lucky. I'm lucky. And we're friends. It's a mutual thing. Yeah, you know, and and. I'm, I'm proud to say we're friends. Oh, thank you. I feel the same way. So, yes, that's what I think. 